As you walk through the forest, the wall of trees blocks your progress. Can you forth? Yes. Well, at least this will make things easier. A little bit. The ground gives way. Ah! Thud. Good old blood ant. Um, that, that, and that. That'll do me. Let's draw the map, because that's what it's gonna look like. There's gonna be a pit, because that's how all these things are. gives way. Ah! Thud. The ground, the ground gives way. Ah! Thud. Hey there, true believers! Rain Kisaragi with more! Let's play the Etrian Odyssey Project. Uh, last time we reached the 12th floor. But we didn't finish mapping out the 11th floor just yet. So I figure now that I've run down all of the holes that were uh, here, you saw that in the beginning of the video, they all just fell exactly where I thought they would. So I, I, I recorded it, you guys saw it, and that room that had, uh, I thought had a, had a hole in it, actually had nothing. Hmm. It's just a closet to escape the FOE. It's very weird. I figured there'd be a thing, but apparently there's not. Alright, what's through here then? Hmm. Fairly small room by the look. And this is a purple, is this? Mysterious crystal crystal entwined with ivy blocks your path. It seems you cannot it seems you cannot proceed. So, yeah, we'll, we'll say that's purple. That looks purple to me. Maybe when we, when, when we get the purple gem, whatever the hell that's gonna be, we'll come back here and open that up. Then we'll go and do the purple door montage video set. That'd be great. You'll all love it. Just like the first uh, crystal door video. So not much really happened off screen. I didn't I didn't go grind at all. Um, basically, I fought some FOE. There's an FOE in that one, I think. This third one. Or wait, no, it was this this one, or it was one of those ones. I don't know. But I fought an FOE. It was one of those um, blood ants um, again, which isn't a surprise at all. Um, I killed it pretty handily. It, again, it's just one of those ants. Um, and then that kind of ended that. Hmm. And uh, I fought some monsters along the way, and now I'm here. So you didn't miss much, m much exploring, which is fine. Let's see. Oh, there's an FOE down there. Wonder what his ammo is. There's a treasure here. Treasure is cool. A large box stands before you. Open it, yes. A Marita 2. That's quite good. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, so he does... It's one of those turtles, then, since he trudges out oh so slowly around here. Oh, it's the next one. Then a turn. Okay, and there's another door, which can only exist like that. We'll see what's going on after I link up all this, which... Uh, 
apparently just goes like that. Oh no, tree frog. Oh no. Oh, tree frogs. Oh, I actually lied. This has a little hole, another little closet. Cool. I'm glad that there's so many closets around here. It's not like they're wasting my time at all by making me have to explore every last one of them. Alright, mad worm. Good. Glad you made a showing this video. It wouldn't be the same without you. Hey, look at that. There's a hole here. The ground gives way. Let's mark this pit before I forget. This is what I thought that other one would be. Cool. Now we're back here. I've trudged, I've trudged this hall many a time. I had to fall through each and every one of those to know that that's where they ended up. But I did. So now you all can be happy that I've gone through that bit of repetitive nonsense for all of you. Thankfully, we've, we've, we've found a shortcut back from where those let out to where uh, we can actually continue onward or get back to there quite easily, which is nice. Unfortunately, I still have to fall down them to get there, which is less than helpful. But we still have a way back, at least. None of this is new stuff, either, which is part of the annoying thing. If I was getting new things from these monsters, I would be at least a little bit amused. But seeing as how I'm not, I'm not amused. Go ahead, Todd. Buff us. We need it. We need it to kill this frog and ant. Well, we don't need it, but it'll make things a little faster. And I'm lazy. So, guess what? Probably should heal Kira, actually. Probably should heal everybody. Let's give everybody a good old heal after the fight. To top us off, it's 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 kind of easy to easy to forget that uh, that damage does add up. Uh, monsters here don't really hit that particularly hard, uh, at least compared to past fours where they feel like they hit like buses. Speaking of things hitting like buses, screw the Gorn Magala in uh, Monster Hunter. Sony recently outed that I started playing that game with him, and uh, yes, we have. There's a giant dragon of corruption called the Gormagala. It's kind of BS and I hate it. And I have to farm them for their armor and bits for my weapon. It sucks. So, it's good to have things that don't hit like buses for once. That's the segue I'm going for here. And I know you veteran Monster Hunter players will be like, oh, the Gormagala actually isn't even that hard. And I'll say, well, fine, then. It's kind of the end of that interaction, really. I have problems. That looks like that's how that's gonna go. We can kill the the mad ball this first turn, and then we can probably kill most of the frog, if not all of it. Or just all of it. That's fine too. Alright. Oh, hello! Goodbye. You have traversed every corner of the floor and created an excellent map. No, I haven't. Rada Hall will be quite pleased to see your handiwork. If you are done mapping, BF12, BF12 as well, then return to the Rada and show them the results. If not, then move along to the next floor and complete the second half of your task. This map is awful. Look at this. This isn't a good map. Not done at all. Come on, guys. 100% completion. Show a little pride in your work. We've mapped, like, most of the map. That's probably okay, right? No, it's not. We need to continue onward. There's stuff over here. There's stuff back, like, where we haven't gone yet. There's probably a path down there that connects those little bits together that I'm just ignoring, because I'm stupid. Actually, let's finish up this little section before I get... Okay. So these actually don't connect back to each other, then. Okay. I think he'll just... Yep, I'll just continue onward. Yep, and he's just gonna go that way. That looks like how this is gonna go. Yep, he's in the next square. I'm not going to go that way. I'll go around.
around this way instead. And then I'll go through the door. I think, I think it's a door over there. I'd rather not mark it as a door unless it's actually a door. But we will get to there. Okay, it actually is a door. See, so, because now I can tell where this guy is in the circle at all times. Which is going to be very helpful. Oh, hello, chest. Oh, hi, Mach. Alright. Let's see, the room looks like that. There's a treasure chest. The large box has before you. Open it, yes. Ah, money. Money's always cool. Even if it is a fairly small amount, like 700. At this point in the game, 700 is a small amount of money, and I can prove it. I have 10,000 in my wallet right now. My war, my war chest is huge at this point in the game, which is awesome. I need this to upgrade all of my people once I can get new gear. When that's going to be, I don't know. Probably, hopefully soon. I think as soon as I get through, um, get through uh, to the like the four, 13th, 14th floor. Yeah, let's not get trapped by him. And he shouldn't be moving. He'll move on the next step. Oh, good. I'm pinned between FOEs now. Okay, bring it on, turtle. Oh, no. Alright. Let's do all my stuff, all my setups. Todd, you can actually boost your attack up. That's, that's cool. Boosted bravery. Even more def even more attack up. And Kira actually double attacks once it matters. Thank you. If only she would have been boosted and double attacked. Of course now, just watch it. I can't do anything, just watch. Alright. Boost and a pull on, that sounds good to me. What about you guys? We'll just whack this thing with small attacks otherwise. These things are really strong, like physically. They're not really strong, like defensively. Jesus. Oh god, Smite is so good. This FOE, I, I feel, would just would just be like really oppressive if you didn't have all the, all the defense skills that that I have. He would just be like one of the most oppressive bosses, like ever. Why oh, didn't did I trick her? No, I did. I don't remember. Screw it. I'll assume that I have. It's probably right. Eh, we don't need to heal right now. Ah, take it. Take your damage, sir. We can, we can probably just get him this turn. Just with attacks, we should be able to just, just to off him. We should, we won't, but... Good, thanks Todd. Now we definitely won't. Well, once again, fairly, fairly minor damage. That's fine. Ow. Okay, defense boost wore off. <laughs> Well, nobody died, so it was it was a okay. And a hundred shell. That's new. I think I need those for something. The 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 name looks familiar. I may actually need that for something. And there's an FOE there. I knew there would be. Well, looks like we gotta go fight an FOE then, because that's where we're gonna be forced into we're forced into doing to finish the map a hundred percent. Because I will not accept anything less than a hundred percent. I Meaning we have to explore over in this little section as well. But once we do that, we'll be uh, done with this floor and can move on to the next floor. Yes, I'm kind of cheating in doing a uh, third stratum mapping video for these, for this floor in particular right now. I'm, I realize it happens sometimes, unfortunately. But, it needs to be done, because the Rada has told us it needs to be done, so it shall. A hundred shell is pretty cool, though. I wonder what, I don't know the, the stipulation to get one of those. 
I think it's their rare drop, or is, or if it's conditional, I, I don't actually know. I just know that it's that it's a rare thing. Yep. Just an FOE in a closet. And it's just a blood ant, though. That's fine. Yeah, we can actually just auto-attack the blood ant, I think. Now we know that that's just the closet. We can't actually flee from this fight, uh, f uh, funnily enough. We, we can't we can't flee from this fight. Because, um, yeah, we're in a closet. So, uh, oh, good. Good, now my strategy of multi hit is screwed. Good, thanks. Or is it? It was only mostly screwed. That's cool. Yeah, just attack to finish this off. That's good enough. And, oh, oh, hello. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. It's not just a closet, there's a little bit there. I'll throw that away since I don't need it anymore. Because I know what's there. It's just a small room with an FOE in it. And that, I believe... Actually, no, it's not the entire floor. I just said I need to go over there. And I do... Don't want to, but I do need to go over there. This is going above and beyond. I probably could just say, yeah, quest is done with this floor, and move on, but I'd, I'd rather rather actually finish, you know? Show show the Rada that I'm capable of doing a job completely, as opposed to just half-assing it. Like many other uh, guilds probably will be. Especially on this floor. Well, let's see. The question is, can I actually map out that whole section without having to fight the... Uh, giant turtle again. Where does he blink out of existence to? That's something else I gotta check. Where does his patrol route stop? Thankfully, it's super easy to move around him because he's so freaking slow. I think as soon as he turns that way, yeah, he turns that way and I lose him. Okay, he's like right there right now. Uh, as soon as we figure out where he goes, I'll uh, map out that little curve in there. I'll step on it, rather. So then in future, I can know where he goes. Good. Goodbye. Good. And there we go. That's just for completionist's sake. That's the only reason I did it. Now, uh, where am I, where am I gonna want to go? I think, if I fall down up there, behind the turtle, I can actually get to where I want to be. I think. Yes, right about where I want to be if I fall from where that turtle is guarding. Alright, so we'll do that then. Cause that'll open up the uh, rest, the rest of the next floor. Will allow us to go to the next floor to go and um, do stuff there. If there's this funny it's small thing so they can't hit hard. I'd totally like I like to get some TP back. It'd be really cool if I could do that. I won't because uh, there won't be a fight like that. That's okay. Off you go. Alright. I think I'm out of his patrol range now, not that he'll actually, you know, meet me at, at any point. Uh, throw relaxing. Might as well, right? I think we're gonna basically kill these things before they can do anything, but... Mm. Well, we got a little bit of TP back. I'd rather just get a little bit more if that's okay with everybody. I'm doing it anyway, so I mean, it's probably going to be okay anyway. Yeah, just a little bit more to um, make Todd actually get some back. Everybody got a little bit back. Nothing major, unfortunately, but so so is the 
So is uh, the way of the way of the world. F the ground gives way. Ah, thud. Now we go back through here, down this incredibly long hallway, with FOEsing on the other side, on the other side of the wall. It's weird that there's just so many FOEs. It's probably one of those bits that um, spawns in the. Um, uh, what you call it? Those ones where they're spawning in a lot of FOEs. It might just be one of those. We can get a little bit of TP. Ow. Yeah, just a little bit. That actually gets uh, sick. Gets like seven back actually from casting relaxing. So that's even in one turn, it's still quite beneficial. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, we'll go ahead and cure Kira from being hit by the bus that is that is that worm. And what is down here? It's just more more of the hallway. It will at least go up. Oh, hello. I figure he probably wanted to say a little more. Are the ants going marching? Is that what's going on here? I feel the ants are going marching. That's probably a bad thing. I've seen what happens when the, when the ants go marching. I've, I've, I've watched Chikara. Yes, that's a wrestling joke. Their move, one, of the, one of the Colony's moves is the ants go marching. And yes, there's a faction called the Colony. They're amazing. You'll love them. Trust me. They're ants. People love ants. And I love Chikara. So, it all works out. So, there seems to be just a lot of ants around here. Good. Thanks. Oh, he's aggressive, because I'm in combat. So that's what the ants are. They're opportunists. Oh, level up. Sweet. Yes. I'm carrying along, ant. I'm not even going to pay attention to you. Um... Um, I guess defense up. Because defense up is quite good. Um, let's put another point into smite. Into smite. Into smite. Uh, you're just gonna get another point of aware. I need I need ambush too, don't I? That'd be good. Mm, heals terror. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll pick that up. Heals petrify. There's a petrify in this game. Apparently there is. And Todd will just learn bravery because. That's that's what Todd's gonna do. He's gonna support us with buffs. Okay, that looks like that. This comes here. There's a door. Hmm. Okay, so I can't move to the next square because there's an ant there. I'm guessing that just goes like that. Hmm. Are they actually hunting me? Or are they just, in fact, wandering around? It feels like they're kind of hunting me. Oh, this is the... Oh, I know what ant that is. That's the one that I actually want to go kill. Oh, alright. Whoops. Whoops. Hello, blood ant. How are you today? Um, I don't want to do that, actually. <clears throat> Because, uh, yeah, I want to save my boosts for when I fight the Servant. A relative of DV Ant, the, the Ant from the Swarm. It's a long story, um, why that's, why that's funny. It's a long story. It's a long wrestling-related story, but... Well, we'll we'll kill we'll kill this colony member and then or the swarm member rather because they're bad guys. They're from the swarm clearly. <clears throat> so we'll do that. And I called him Deviant. So I mean that's okay. Up oh, and there's an ant. How's it going, ant? I can't keep using all my resources on ants. I could have just left and avoided all this nonsense, but I need, I need, I need to kill the servant. 
just be because it's here. I have to kill it because it's here. Um, I should be able to take it out this turn. I really hope I can. Because I don't want to fight more of these things. Like when they join this fight. Oh, good. We had just enough to kill it. Good. Okay, off you go. Well, not off you go. You're right behind me. Meaning this fight's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass. Cause my move registers first. Hello, Servant. How are you today? I actually need to throw an all slash because it's slightly more powerful. <clears throat> it is. It's uh, slightly more powerful than a regular attack. So I have to uh, I have to use it. Um yeah. <clears throat> Let's boost up uh Todd's bravery song, so it hits, so it makes us hit even harder than the harder it makes us hit normally. See, <clears throat> that's insane damage from Kira. Well, it costs eight, eight AP, which is incredibly expensive, but it hits like a bus, so it's a-okay, and we can actually just attack this turn. Our attack is boosted so high at this point, we can, yeah, we can just kill it one shot. Ant honey. Alright, and all the ants went away. Good. Stupid ants. I hate ants. Actually, I'm totally indifferent about ants. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm indifferent about ants. <clears throat> Not my favorite creatures in the animal kingdom, but they're interesting. It's actually a species of ants uh, that uh, that will go out and uh, s uh, uh, basically like a, 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 a subjugate other like ant hills so that they may. Um, what am I checking here? I guess I'll just check it. As you walk the labyrinth's passages, you find a, a large hole at your feet. It seems to have been a nest of some kind, but nothing is emerging from it now. You carefully tiptoe around the hole, as not disturb whatever sleeps there. Okay. So something's sleeping there. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that though. Just so I know what's there. There we go. Large eyes before you. Open it, yes. Pint Amrita 2. Electric Boogaloo. Um, we're okay to keep adventuring. Hmm. I go from here, though. Hmm. It's a thing here. Hmm. There's got to be something there. there. Just has to be. What it is, I don't know. Hmm. Well, maybe if maybe if the game tells me that I've met my quota for exploring, I can go get a mission to figure out what the hell's going on there. Or wait, actually, do I have to fall? Well, there's no hole to fall through. Hmm. Hmm, maybe there's a mission to get in there. I don't know. Well, there's a, a little bit down here we, we can explore, and then uh, we'll figure it out from there. Todd, relaxing. We need that. We need to ga gain back a little bit. Oh, good. And we're all cursed. Good. Good. That's annoying. Well, we're all just going to take damage this turn. Ow. My god, it's half? Was it half? Good God, that hit that hits hard. Okay. Uh, well, salve. It's awesome that uh, uh, that restore just always costs uh, four. That's that's really cool, actually. Or so far has only costed four. Uh, it it gets much more expensive in later games, but it it starts out expensive, but then it slowly becomes less expensive. That, that's its scaling. It becomes less expensive. 
Which is cool. I can totally get behind something not costing as much the more you level it up. Um, I think in Etria 3, it starts out as a single target, and then it drops a couple points, and then it becomes like a line of guys, and then it drops a couple points. And that's where you kind of want to stop like leveling it up once it hits that that threshold of it will start target it will target everybody again because it's cool that it targets everybody but it's way too expensive like the cost jumps from like five to heal your entire line because that, uh, that's a thing in later Etrias, a uh, line damage as opposed to just targeting everybody or a single person or splash damage from a person you target a line which is awesome um, so it, it, it goes from like 5 for the line to like 40 for everybody, and that's the highest level. It's just you pay 40 TP and heal everybody. It's really not very good, um, so I, I never max out TP, I never max out TP up. It's not really worth it, I don't, I don't find. I'm sure someone's gonna come in and say, oh no, it's actually much more useful when it's maxed out. Which I would be hesitant to believe you if that was the case. I don't claim to know to know every, everything about Etria, but I know a bit. I know my opinions, if nothing else. There's a door there. There's places here I can't go. He's not through the door anymore. Hello. Um. Large box stands before you. Open it, yes. A Bravant. Bravant's cool. Are you just walking back and forth? I was walking like in a circle, kind of. Kind of. A large box stands before you. Open it, yes. Gum Helm? Is that, is that anything decent? Is a Gum Helm decent for anybody? Do I already have a Gum Helm on people? What? Who, who can use a gum helm? Oh, you use a gum helm. Okay. Who else can use this? Uh, only you. Okay, it's not very useful then, is it? Yep, only Sahoni may use the gum helm. Enjoy that. I wonder where the hell this thing's actually going. That's something else that I don't fully understand. Where the hell this thing's actually attempting to go. Uh, first turn on Kira, that should be acceptable, and Todd's gonna attempt a bravery. Good, she hit the one thing I actually wanted her to hit. Good. There we go. So then now maybe we can kill these things with some relative success. Well, he's in that unknown square now. I don't know where the hell this thing... Actually, just so we can see where it goes to... Let's all just defend this turn, and we'll get a relaxing off, so it's not just a wasted turn. So we can kill this thing in one shot. Okay, now that I know where the hell it is. Yes, I don't like uh, leaving a fight when I don't know where an FOE is. It's just a thing. Let's think of any clear, like, pattern to where the hell it was going. Maybe I wouldn't be so, like, confused about it, if I knew where the hell it was even attempting to go. Okay, so it moves it moves in a night pattern, then. Okay. Just marches in a night pattern. That's... that's fair. Um... I guess we'll just try to kill it. It's not gonna be worth uh, running away, honestly. We'll just be stuck here trying to run away from ants. It's just not gonna work. Well, we'll use a relaxing, we'll get some more TP back, and then we'll we'll kill what we can. Probably that, that first one's probably gonna go down. Yes, okay. Oh, uh, ba uh back to the ants. Um, uh, they we leave their colony to go, like, kill other colonies' queens, and then they, like, enslave the ants from that, that colony. So, so that they don't have to work, because they're all like warrior ants and stuff. It's actually, it was actually really interesting. Oh, 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 like, even ants have developed the, uh, the idea of slavery. It's very strange. 
Not something you'd think ants would do, honestly. It's it's a fairly... I, I'm, I'm going to say intelligent, not meaning that I support slavery. I'm saying intelligent as in, like, awareness of the things around you and awareness, oh, 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 awareness of differences kind of thing. It's... It's 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 it was really weird that ants would do that, and that was quite interesting that they that they developed that. Uh, there's also ants that that uh, harvest certain like leaves and like material like materials and things because they know that they're like because they're like healthy. So basically, these ants will harvest like healing herbs to help themselves. It's it's really really cool. Like a a ants are ants are a weird thing. They're a very weird thing. What the hell do I get into the center room? There's a thing here, I know there is! What the hell do I get in there? How the hell do I get into that center bit? I have to get in there. How do I get there? How do I get in you? I don't know how I get in that Nope, oh, nope. Don't run away, Sahoni. Come on. We need to fight. It's just an ant. So what if it can lift a hundred times its body weight with its pincers? It's not scary. It's just an ant. Oh, I missed the square. There has to be like a shortcut into here somewhere. There's, there has to be. Oh, hello. Small rays is, is, is visible in the, in the wall of trees before you, but it seems you cannot pass through from this side. I'm going to mark it because it confirms that there is in fact a thing over here. And that there's not a thing right here. That's generally how these things work. So, there is a way to get in there. Just how are we gonna get there? Wish I had arrows. I really wish I had the ability to, to draw arrows. Okay, nothing from there. From here? Aha! As you walk through the forest, a wall of trees blocks your progress. You continue forth? Yes. Oh! Hello. As you reach the hidden area after pushing through an opening in the sea of trees, the faraway sound of a horde of insects reaches your ears. Straining your eyes to see where the noise is coming from, you see a gigantic ant! You realize with alarm that you have trespassed into the ant's forest, the ant's forest nest. If you are to proceed, battle with the, with the, with the, devil, with the devilish ants will be inevitable. Okay. Oh, I'm... I'm trapped here. Okay. So we'll go like that then. Okay, I can back out. Do I have the ability to fight right now? Actually, I think I do. Throw a salve to heal everybody. Sahoni, you have one of these Omrita 2s. I think I'm good to fight. Yeah, honestly, I think I'm good to fight. Royal Ant. That's a print of attack. Sweet. Uh, let's throw a defender. Trickery. Immunize. And bravery. And then we will begin from here. Alright. What do you do, Ant Queen, with your arms crossed in defiance of me? You have a lot of FOEs in your room. That's kind of annoying. I kind of want KO to just attack and not waste her TP. Uh, we're gonna boost a multi-hit. We'll just... Oh! That's annoying. Huh. Well. Well, that's... That's annoying. Thankfully, Sahoni can refresh everyone. <laughs> Come on, Sahoni. Oh, he's not gonna go off before my attack goes off. That's... Aha! Oh, hello, Blood Ant. Really don't want you in this fight, if that's entirely cool. Um, I guess I can pull on. It's not what I want to do. Do I still have my buffs? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Wait, 
I have accuracy down? Oh, I do. Damn it! Uh, it's fine, I guess. At least we're not blinded and having our accuracy down. At least there's that, eh? The monster has joined the fray. <laughs> Damn it! Sense a pattern here. Boost at all slash. Our buffs are still on, so that's good. Let's just, let's just focus our effort on the queen, and we'll see if I can uh, manage to, to take them out. Okay, couldn't kill one of them. Maybe I'll have better luck. And I say better luck, meaning I want two of these to hit the... Okay. Good. And the new monster has joined the fray. God damn it, you ants. Uh, trickery. <laughs> and our buffs fell off. KO, you, you have something else you need to do now. Um, bravery's still active, though, so that, that's cool. I like how bravery just, like, never goes away. Die, Ant. You don't belong in this world. Actually, you probably do. This is your home that I'm invading. I realize that, that this is actually quite not where I belong, but I'm going to kill you anyway, because you're evil, I've decided. Kira, you have an amazing ability to hit everything. Good, that didn't really help. Oh good, another ant! My favorite! How'd you know? Uh, let's try for a multi-hit, I guess. Uh, salve everybody. God, bravery is still up, you don't need to do anything except, except to attack people. Cause that's what you're gonna do this fight. Todd, you're just gonna attack. You've done your one thing that... that You've done your one thing, now it's time to just beat people up. One down, two down, oh, not, not two down. That's, that's annoying. Really wish she would have gone down, because now I'm just going to hit everything but the queen. Um, you got another all slash in you, that's cool. Bravery is still active, that's really, really useful. I love how Bravery just never goes away, apparently. That's really, really, it's really helpful. Come on, Ant Queen. T time to die. I said time to die, Ant Queen. Jesus, H. Aha! Suck it, Queen Ant. Aha! And I got a Death Claw. It's not just for Fallout. Good. Well, that was actually quite easy. I'm surprised at how easy that was. Alright, there's a little ant closet up here. Uh, in, uh, uh, in, uh, Itria uh, Itri Untold, uh, they, t uh, they, they take another direction with this boss fight. Uh, you have to, uh, th there, are, there are, like, little ant eggs, basically, that, that the queen drops around the area, and as, if, as soon as uh, you go into the fight with her, she doesn't lay the eggs anymore. As you walk through the forest, a wall of trees blocks your progress. Can you forth? Yes. So you can, um, like, avoid, like, you can break a lot of the eggs if you get lucky before the fight, so that um, you don't have to fight 300 ants. You trust every corner of this floor and create an excellent map. No, I haven't. Rattle Hall will be quite pleased to see your handiwork. If you are done mapping for uh, map, uh, mapping B, uh, B11F as well, return to the router, show them through the results. If not, then return to the previous floor and can you the second half of your task. I've finished my task, thank you, good game. Well, I have not completely finished my task, because there is uh, a little bit more for me to do. Gotta explore the ant, the ant, uh, holes, basically. I should go to the next floor, too. That would be cool. be very cool if they let me go down to the next floor. Can I? I can! Welcome to B B13F, a soldier's... something. I missed it. 
It said wash basin. I don't think that's what it meant, though. Well, we have a new floor, at least. Let's see. Let's see if it did, in fact, say wa wash basin, because I don't think that's what that said. Yes, it did. The soldiers washed wash basin. Good. Glad that we've gotten there. Well, our map is pretty complete, I think. It's time to head home. We've been out for a while now. But first, let's sell all the bits we got. So we got bits. A flute! Todd, you can get a flute! I feel, like, awkward selling this, but I really want to sell it to see what it gives. Amber ring. It's not that good. Okay. That wasn't as good as I'd hoped. Todd, you're getting a flute! How's that make you feel? Um, nothing from the Death Claw. That's... That's really weird that nothing, nothing got unlocked from the Death Claw. Hmm. Flute! A new instrument, Todd. You have a flute now. No longer do you have a loot suit. You have a, you have a flute suit. Flute suit, Riot. Alright. Let's sleep till morning for an exorbitant amount of money, by the way. Jesus, it costs a lot for us to stay at the inn anymore. But to Rada Hall. Uh, report results. We're good! We're done. <clears throat> Wish went above and beyond, actually. Yeah, no thanks to your soldiers, bud. Well, I'm sure it has a bottom. It's gotta be somewhere at the stop of it. Um, may... maybe? Will it? Because it may not, honestly. Hmm. Honestly, it might be better, better, less, better, blah, 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 better off left alone. Honestly. You're good to talk to me, dude. I'm, I'm honestly probably the best person to talk to about this. Yes, my complete maps. Not the half-assed maps the game wanted me to finish. Wow, that is a crap ton of money. Yes, sir. What's going on? They were worthless. Hmm. Hmm. I haven't seen them yet. Honestly, I was going to do, do that anyway, so that's totally cool, actually. New mission is available. Alright. Worker in the rainforest. Hmm, alright. I suppose it's continue the game, don't continue the game. I mean. Hmm, how do you mean deal with them? I don't like how this sounds. Can we, like, be friends with them instead? That seems like a better idea. Hmm. Well, we can always try to be friends before just jumping to, we need to kill them. Hmm. Well. Maybe these thoughts are best kept, best kept private. But, I hope you guys had fun with this. We mapped out the floor and fought a giant ant queen. It was good times. It was fun. So, hope you guys had fun, and... 
I'll see you guys next time with more Let's Play the Eternity Project. So until then, until then, Rank K.